We'll have some fun with some great puppies and raise money for a good cause. Molly Real, who loves a puppy, oh. is finding all about this weekend's possum event. Uh, Looper is going to have something to say when you <laughs> don't home. mind me. Your face don't is clean. Don't mind me. I'm just getting <laughs> some kisses. Yeah, so I have two new friends. This is Starry and this is Raven. They're two good mamas. They are oh part goodness. of Best Service Dogs. This is a nonprofit uh, that breeds and trains dogs. Uh, service dogs uh, and this is Jan so Jan you are hosting a fun heavy on the fun razor <laughs> on Sunday an art show so you're kind of combining two of the world's very best things art and dogs first let's talk about best service dogs what it is uh, best service dogs is a nonprofit organization and we breed and train Labrador retrievers for service dog organizations <laughs> and our focus is mainly on autism and veterans with PTSD. Such such a very important job. Uh, you've been doing this about six years as a nonprofit and you actually have your master's in what? Canine life science. Okay, very cool. So on Sunday, you're having this fundraiser. It's an art show. You've gathered more than a dozen local artists who have so generously donated uh, paintings and other forms of art uh, that people can come and purchase. Correct, they get to bid on them in a silent auction and we'll also have other silent auction items available. And so we have just a sampling here. Tell us about each of the paintings and the artists. Okay, the uh, watercolor is from a local artist, Helen Plenert, and she's um, very well known in the area. And we've got a couple of her beautiful uh, original watercolors. And the other one is an oil painting from um, the late Earl B. Bowley, a very uh, uh, well-known artist in Sacramento that was generously donated by his wife for our fundraiser. How special is that? And the event takes uh, place here. This is your property. You call it the Rancho. Uh, it, it happens to be raining today, if you can believe it. So we're uh, underneath cover, but uh, you're opening up your whole property for this fun event. That's correct. Yeah, we have the art all around the garden and we'll have refreshments and um, it's a fun time. Sounds like a fun time. So tell us a little bit more about these dogs and, and the important work they do and what it means to you to be able to do it. Well, it's... Uh, always been kind of a passion of mine to have uh, service dogs available and amazing things that they can do for people and so I decided to turn my um, my knowledge and expertise from breeding into providing more puppies for the service dog world so we get more puppies out there to help more people yeah. and that's why I do what I do. And I know they have very specific training but uh, you also said to me you know every dog is a comfort dog. Every dog is an emotional support dog, <laughs> yeah. but they're not service dogs because service dogs are trained to mitigate specific disabilities for, you have to have a disability to have a service dog. So they're trained for sp whatever specific disability or, or tasks that you need them to do for you. Yeah. Now I think it's so wonderful that uh, local artists donated paintings, you know, are, are part of this effort to improve the lives of others. What, what does that mean to you? What does that say about this community? Oh, it makes me really happy. I, I just am so um, grateful and appreciative of my artist friends and their friends. We also have things like textile arts. Um, we had some pottery, uh, lots of, you know, multimedia, different kinds of art. So when you come, there's a little something for everybody and it's, it's really, um, starting to be a nice community that we're building. Yeah. Well, I think you combine people who love dogs and people who love the arts, and I think you have a pretty good group here. <laughs> Thank you. I think so. Now, if you want to come to the fundraiser, again, heavy on the fun, we have the information for you on our website, so you can head there and find out more. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I have a few more kisses to get, and Good Day Sacramento will be back after this short break. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>